Now if you want to send this off to somebody who has an earlier version of PowerPoint, and I'm talking 1997 through 2003, yeah, that's pretty early, you want to make sure that certain graphic effects and objects can be viewed in those earlier versions. Otherwise, if they can't, they may be missing out on a lot. So what you can do is you can use the compatibility checker to check for those issues and then fix them before you save it in an earlier version because if you just send it off to them as is and you don't convert it to that earlier version, they may have even more issues. So my recommendation is to check for compatibility issues before you save it to an earlier version and then once you fix it up and save it as an earlier version, send it off, they should be good. So to check for those issues, you can do it one of two ways. You can either come up here and click on the file tab and go backstage to info to check for issues. Check for features not supported by earlier versions of PowerPoint. Compatibility checker, please click on it. Following features in this presentation are not supported by earlier versions of PowerPoint. These features may be lost or degraded when you save this presentation in that earlier file format. And here's the issues that it finds, like on slides 1, 3, 5, and 6, the shape in any text in it cannot be edited when using earlier versions. So they can view it, it'll convert it into an image, but they won't be able to click inside of it like the title here, as I'll show you in just a minute. And let's go over another one. The shape can't be edited, but the text in the shape can be revised using earlier versions. And it's on slides 1 and 8, so let's close out of here. So right here, and you may not know the difference between what was available in later versions as opposed to earlier versions, but here with WordArt, it didn't have the reflection or the fancy colors as it does in the later versions with the earlier versions. So I can click and drag and select it and come up here and click on the Format tab, go to the Word Art Styles group, click on More, and clear it so we get rid of all the formatting so it's just plain text. So now let's go ahead and check it and see if it cleared it up. And again, you can do that by going Backstage, File to Check for Issues, or you can hit Two Birds with One Stone. You can have it check for issues and then at the same time save it in that earlier version of PowerPoint, like 1997 through 2003. And you can do that by coming up here. Now, I added the command, the Save As, to the Quick Access Toolbar, so when I click on it, I can come down here and save it from the latest version with the extension .pptx, as opposed to, click on it, an earlier version of 1997 through 2003 with just .ppt as that extension. And if you don't know anything about extensions, you can watch my Windows training video on extensions, but it's missing that extra X, and the X stands for Extensible Markup Language, which is a more stable programming language, so the file sizes are smaller and not as corruptible. In any case, let's go back to 1997 through 2003. And when you click Save, before it actually saves it, it's going to check it with the compatibility checker, and it says these features may be lost or graded when you save this presentation in an earlier file format unless you come down below and clean it up from any fancy features that are available in the latest versions as opposed to the earlier. And you can see that slide 1 is no longer an issue. That's good because we cleared off that fancy formatting. Now it doesn't mean you can't use colors, it's just that there are some colors that are available in the later versions that weren't available in the earlier versions and also that reflection there. So you can pick them off one by one until you clean them up and either dumb it down to where you've got basically nothing here. If you're not sure, you can always go just a simple text and no color or something close, something just primary colors to be safe. And it will keep telling you every time you come in here if when you check it, when you want to do a save as. So if you still want to work on it, then you can click on close and make your changes or finally do save as and come back here to the 1997 through 2003, click Save, and it pulls up those issues, and if you're like, you know what, I'm good, let's continue, it saves it. Because up here on the title bar, it says it's in compatibility mode, opening up in a later version of PowerPoint from an earlier version, which doesn't have the X, just the PPT. And of course, you can click on that to close out of there. And we've got the two versions here. There's the latest version with the X. You can see in the pop-up, Microsoft PowerPoint, and here's an earlier version right here without the X. And you can see when I hover over it in the pop-up, it's got PowerPoint 1997 through 2003, those years that those are compatible with each other but not with the latest here. Well, some of the features and fancy formatting. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.